Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Fabi. Welcome to Sacred Body Studio. So we're going to keep our series for our feet release. So we are going to start today. We're just going to start uh, warming up our feet. So remember that sometimes our feet get very tense, very tight. So it's good to release them. You will feel a lot of release, not only in your feet, but also in your legs. So we're going to start simple. So today we will need a sock. <laughs> A block, a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, you can have books and just pale them, okay? Maybe you need more support. You will see with the exercises, you can put a second block if you need it. So we're gonna start. Again, we're gonna try to hold the exercises for one minute. So we set our timer. And what we are gonna do is very simple. We're just gonna try to catch a sock with our toes and release it. And that's all what we are going to do. Maybe at the beginning it will be difficult to catch it, but just try it. And that will help us to spread the toes and also extend the muscles in our feet. In our feet we have more than 20 muscles. So they really need to release and sometimes we don't realize that we don't stretch at all or we don't mobilize at all our feet, our toes. Plus with the shoes, it kind of compress our toes and our feet and it doesn't allow the toes and the feet to move freely. So this is all what we're gonna do first. Remember, if you need support, you can hold a chair or the wall. That's great. Fantastic. And then we change. We go on to the left side, and one more time. If you do these exercises, you will see the difference after one week. Even if you're just doing them twice a week, you will see the difference. Because normally we have like a very tense feet. I heard a lot of people say like, oh, my feet feels like a rod, and myself as well. Like sometimes in the morning, when I go, I get up from, the, from bed, it's really hard for me to put the foot and walk. It really feels super tense, my feet. Or sometimes if they are too tense at night time, when I start to get asleep, I can feel the tension. You know, so that's why it's good kind of give us a little release. If it's every day, it will be fantastic, you know, because we use our feet every day and a lot. We are all day long, standing, walking, moving. So it will be fantastic. Super. Now we release. Now this time we're going to just, the foot we're going to stretch it on the side. So we're going to just move our foot to the outer edge of your feet. <laughs> and we're just going to hold here. And again, it feels a nice stretch. And just like that, okay? Just to feel the stretch on the outer edge. And we just breathe. Remember, keep your tummy in so the weight is not collapsing in your lower back and you are not arching. So again, this connection of your tummy, that will be great. And anytime you can mix all the series of the videos, like how we normally do four videos for each series, and you can combine them so you have like a 40 minutes if you want a long, 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 really long, long session you can put together the videos and we just hold here and stretch in the side we can keep the leg straight or we can slightly bend now let's go other side and again we can keep the knee bent or you can extend the leg what i wanted is just you stretch the foot super averting the foot how it feels, it feels good. Remember your stretches go as far as it feels comfortable. Never stretch with pain, never release your body with pain, never, never. If you feel pain, just go gentle, just go more, you go softer, you know. But don't, don't push hard and don't go strong. Always listen your body, you know. You will start to feel the stretches well in the lower leg, which is really good. You can hold the wall or a chair if you feel it's too much tension. Super, everybody. How you feel? Good? Let me know in the comments. 
So from here, now the next stretch, we're going to bring our the ball of your feet onto the block. Mm -hmm. We can go one foot first, just to feel how it is, okay? Because for some of us, it doesn't feel good, this stretch, you know? Even looks easy, but for some of us, when we have very, very tense uh, muscles in our feet, this is quite a hard stretch. So we just go first with one foot. And try to don't exaggerate neither to push, put too much weight in your in your in your foot. Okay, just normal weight, balance the weight between right and left foot. And we hold here, no forcing, breathing. Every time you feel the tension, you take a deep breath. Exhale. And that's all. But try to don't force when you are stretching your body. Super. Now we're gonna swap. And left one. Try to keep the ball of your feet. Make sure that you are not hurting your, your arch with the block or with the books if you are doing it with books. Just make sure that it feels really nice. One more time, you can bend the knee or you can bend it straight. Let's just be comfortable. What we wanted is just a flexion of the foot. And again, we try to, even we are just having a nice stretch, engage me, you tell me. Super. Deep breath, everybody. Deep. And exhale. Remember for the exercises for yoga for sleep, we practice a deep and long breath and how that deep and long breath helps us to relax. It's the same when you are stretching. That will help us to relax the muscles, slow down the blood circulation. So it will help us to release. Fantastic. Just a few seconds more. Good. Now we're going to try to put the two together, mm -hmm. if it's possible. If you feel it's, it's not comfortable for you, we just do one leg again at a time. And you start to feel the stretch in our thigh, and sorry, in the inner lower leg at the back of the leg and on the side. Really a nice stretch. Try to uh, spread the toes. And the most important is that you balance the weight in your, in your feet. There's not too much weight in the big toes or the out, outer edge of your feet. You really feel the ball of your feet, the toes, the heels equally balanced. You know, you have the weight balance in those three areas. I'm sorry sometimes I mess up with the English. I'm from Mexico. So, I still <laughs> need to learn. But thank you for joining. Super. How it feels that? It's good, no? Yes, you feel good. Now we're going to swap. So this time we're going to bring our heels at the top of the block. This is going to be a little bit more challenge for us. If we have very little flexibility. We're going to go down. I recommend you, you cannot go all the way down, that you hold a chair. Or you hold or you go against the wall. And literally, we're just gonna rest our heels on the block. Mm -hmm. Again, if you need to elevate more your heels, you can use another block. As I said before, you don't have blocks, it's okay. You can do it with books. So, always you can do it with something. As well, you can do it with some towels, some blankets, but maybe you don't have the strength or the firm. Um, of the block, you know, it might you might just sink and you won't have too much support here. Here, try to relax or try to really keep your back straight and be careful. Try to don't let the knees go too wider. You can try to have the sensation to squeeze your inner thigh. Fantastic, everybody. And we just come all the way up. Super. We go away of the mat. Shake your legs. And how you feel? It feels good, you know? The last exercise, we're just gonna do the opposite of what we're doing. So this time we're gonna press with the front of the foot against the ground. Good, and we're just gonna hold here for 10, for one second, <laughs> one minute, sorry. So again, if you need a wall, use your wall. No too much stress here, no pushing hard. Fantastic. If you cannot curl completely your foot and it's hard, you can stand up on the block and then do it. And it might be more, more uh, easier. It will be easier for you. 
And I think on this uh, YouTube videos that I'm doing, it helped me as well to practice my English, so I hope you understand. <laughs> you would feel a nice sensation at the front of your foot. Remember that you can repeat these exercises anytime. Anytime. And also you can repeat the same video again or bring the four videos together. At the moment we are in the second one, but there will be two more. Now we change other leg and just to stretch and feel nice. And again, if it's challenge for balance, hold some the wall or have a chair close to you, something to help you to support. Good. And again, make sure that your tummy is not out, so don't rely on the lower back. So again, the sensation will keep your tummy in. Relax your shoulders. Super. And we just hold for the half minute to finish our session. And remember, you can do this every day. Even like as soon as you arrive home, just release your feet, stretch your feet, and then after you can relax. You can do it when you are watching TV. So any moment, or in the morning, you feel that your feet are too tense, or you work all day long, stand up, that would be fantastic. Release your feet, everybody. Shake your legs. That's good. Give you a little shake. Good. We hope you like it, and thank you to join us, and see you in the next video.